Hey everyone, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video we will look at how to deploy the Nikivo virtual appliance within vSphere. So Nikivo is offering backup and replication software and they uh, are allowing you to do backup and replication on VMware, Hyper-V, AWS, Windows, Linux and network attached storage. They're offering a free download trial uh, trail and 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 once you have downloaded the OVA file, for instance for vSphere, uh, we have to deploy it in our environment. And in this video, I'm going to show you a demo how to deploy the uh, the OVA file. They also have a pretty good description on their website, and they show you the steps you need to take in order to get everything up and running. But uh, let's do a quick demo anyway. So the first thing I'm trying to do is go to my ESX host within uh, my vSphere 6.5 environment and I'm choosing for the option to deploy an OVA, OVF template and the strange thing is that it's immediately generating an error that this is not something that is supported within vSphere 6.5 so that's a bit strange isn't it there is a workaround we can go to the ESXi host directly uh, 6.5 is offering a local HTML5 MUI. <laughs> if you are an, uh, if you're a, a virtualization dinosaur, you know that we had the MUI in the past, and it was the web interface hosted at at ESX. So the MUI of our ESX I host uh, allows us to deploy OVF templates. When I choose for the option Create Register VM, and I'm choosing OVF OVA file, I can go to this section here, uh, and I can put in Nakivo as the name of the appliance and then I have select to select a file I'm selecting a file I've downloaded this morning earlier and then I simply click next I have to choose where I want to store this appliance on and I have to uh, accept the end user agreement so you have to fully read it and then agree it and then uh, we're ready to deploy the appliance. So which network? Uh, it's the management network. It, it, it has to be able to reach your vCenter server or your uh, ESXi hosts. We're going for thin and we're powering the appliance on automatically. Next, you have to do a quick check if everything you have configured here is okay and then hit finish. And then it will start to deploy the Nakivo appliance. It's real fast because my storage is real fast. <laughs> After a while you will see that this uh, appliance is deployed and then you can go to the console of the appliance and then you have to configure the IP address. By default it's using DHCP so by uh, changing it to a static address you can go to the management interface and then start with uh, creating your backup plans. But that's for a later video. For now, this is the deployment of the Nakivo virtual appliance within vSphere. So in part one, we've deployed the appliance. There's a pretty good description on our website how to deploy uh, the Nakivo vSphere appliance. Um, there was a bit of a problem in my environment because I was not able to deploy it through an OVF template. But when using the host access in, I was able to deploy it. So here is up and running. It will get an IP address from DHCP by default, and you have to change this into a an fixed address. Uh, you can also do some other stuff on the console of this appliance, adding more storage for your backups. By default, it's a disk of 500 gigabytes. Uh, changing the time zone or the time, doing s software updates. So this is part of the appliance. We leave the appliance for now because we're going to the interface and the interface is pretty cool it's running on 10.0.0.28 and when you go to this interface you have the option to configure stuff like user accounts I didn't configure it yet uh, but you can put the admin password right here you can configure email settings notifications it's a real nice web interface the thing I found interesting is the job sections and this job section allows you to create a backup job. So in this case, we didn't provide any information yet for Amazon or Hyper-V, only for vSphere. Because when you go to the settings right here, 
and you go to the inventory, then I already pre-configured my vCenter server. So in the inventory, this is where you choose your display name, the IP address of your vCenter server, and you provide the username and password. And once the information is applied, it will discover all the hosts and all the uh, VMs. Uh, then you can create a backup immediately. It has already has a repository within the appliance, so we have some space to to create our our backup jobs. So let's jump to the jobs. Let's create a backup job for vSphere because the other two options are not configured yet. But this is also the place where you can configure replication, or you can uh, uh, do an overview of your reports. For now, we just create a simple backup and. This is where you are going through your inventory. So let's go to the management network and let's back up our NSX manager right here. So my manager is selected. I'm choosing for next. I'm choosing the repository, which is the onboard one, delivered by default as part of the appliance. I'm clicking on next. I have to provide a schedule. I can run it immediately or put in a schedule and choose the dates I want to have. Then I have to choose for the retention policy. You can keep it for days, weeks, months and years. But you can also simply say let's keep the last 10 recovery points. Choose for next. You can do some advanced settings like change block tracking, uh, screenshot verification and that sort of stuff. And then just finish and run and it will start with our creating your first backup and everything can be monitored from this user interface. So it's now creating a backup of my NSX manager. Well, that's pretty simple. Have fun. They're offering a free trial for two weeks. So if you're interested, go to the Nakiva website and download the appliance and it, you have it up and running within 10 minutes. Eric Sloof is signing off. See you next time. Bye bye.